Well, today I uh, spent the whole day visiting sites, federal government sites, and uh, Arizona State sites. I wanted, I wanted to find out how the culture in this area is being transferred to the next generations. And what I have found is amazing. I have found not just a refusal to admit what is uh, actually correct, but also a reputation or how can I say, a division in between the same people, personalities. I'm going to give you an example of that. I ended up in Tutamakori or Tutamakori or something like that. It's a, uh, uh, it's a mission, mission, a Spanish mission, founded by uh, by the Spaniards in around 1600, late 1600s, because they were came through here much earlier, but uh, because the Russians invading Alaska. They decided they're going to stop the Russian from coming inside the, uh, the Americas and they start building missions all over the places. So one of the, these missions built on what is today the United States of America is being changed like uh, it belonged to a state <laughs> by the federal officers at the park itself. So basically, the park officers, when asked, uh, can you explain to me about uh, Junipero Serra? They say, oh no, no, they don't be that guy don't belong here. All we know is about what is happening here in Arizona. And I uh, sort of like communicate to them, it is the same people. <laughs> there is no difference between Junipero and uh, 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 these guys uh, in this side of the, uh, of the desert, it's the same people doing the same work, transferring our Western civilization to the native and trying to slow down the advancement of the Russians. And they refuse to admit that. Uh, not only that, they completely have their identity now, these are federal officers, federal employees. This is no, yes, anybody. You know, this is well-educated federal employees. Well, supposed to supposedly be federal educated employees and supposed, supposed to be doing a job for the people of the United States of America. They call themselves white, white, European when asked uh, and when asked can you prove that identity that you have just created for yourself white European can you prove it to me can you prove it to the people of the United States of America and they come out with an answer or something like this my DNA will prove it <laughs> I, I'm not making this up I am really not making this uh, this thing up it's like it's like I'm talking to somebody, some person that is so far away from reality, is so far away from, from their correct identity. It's like they do not belong in this place and they are the one transferring the knowledge. So it is done purposely. It is done purposely. They are they're trying to divide us and it's at the federal level. Our federal government Right now, our institutions are completely filled with people they have no idea of what they are, who they are, where they have been, and where they're going. Now they call themselves, erroneously, uh, white Indians, white Americans, Africans, shade of colors. Uh, I mean, it's all kind of crazy. But not only is the federal government in that condition, in that situation, also the Roman Catholic Church. So listen to me, Pope Francis, this is to you. The Jesuits right here in Arizona, they have no knowledge of what 
the creed of Nazea is our very foundation, the foundation of Christianity. They have no idea how to recite that. And this is the preacher. This is not me. If I cannot recite it, well, you know, I mean, uh, I'm a sinner. No, this is the preacher. They're supposed to be transferring Christianity to the next generation. They do not know the basics. So they running around uh, making holy water out of people's bottles, but they don't know why they're doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's an attack. It's a complete attack to Western civilization. What is happening? The uh, the Protestant, the English Protestant, have completely taken over the United States of America federal government. Completely, it's over. And highly likely, Europe. Uh, how can we? How can we fix this? Uh, I have no idea. Probably it's impossible. Uh, but I'm going to really try. Because uh, we cannot lose the United States of America. We cannot lose that idea of freedom, of a union, a state, of, uni of, of a union of states uh, uh, representing one another in a brotherhood like no other on this planet. And I think it's worth defending it. I think it's worth it. Uh, not only is worth defending the Roman Catholic Church, but it's worth defending the society created by Traiano, uh, by uh, uh, Justiciano, by Adriano, by Constantino. Uh, I think it is worth it. Uh, it's worth. It's worth for the advancement of humanity itself. Uh, how to do it? I have no idea. I don't have the know-how, no the capability. But I can say this to anyone: you are not, you are not white Indian. You are no African. You are a United States of America federal government worker, official. You work for the United States of America, for the people of the United States of America. You are not working for the English. So you NPR, you CNN guys, you all these people, start reconditioning yourself. Because believe me, you are not English. You are probably from who knows where. Like I asked that lady when she, very eloquent, tell me that I am a white European. And I asked her, uh, really? Let me see, white is a color, I know what that is. Uh, Europeans, there is so many Europeans up there. Which tribe you belong to? And she thought about that one for a minute, and she said, I don't know. <laughs> so she knows that she's white European because somebody with the uh, DNA test told her <laughs> that she's probably some kind of percentage, and she believed that. But she cannot. How can I say eloquently articulate who she is? So very polite, I indicate to her that her only um, identity was the United States of American National. And I can do that every day. That is the only thing that I can do for, for the United States of America is con continue to repeat even if I am the only one to repeat to the people of the United States of America, you are not colors. <laughs> they are fooling with your mind. They are conditioning you to sell you crap. And is the English. I can pinpoint who it is. And all these people like Donald Trump and Joe Biden and the rest of the uh, leaders of the United States of America, they, in my opinion, is all of them. We have lost everyone. Continue to call yourself Americans and Americans. From Ted Cruz to Marco Rubio to Mitch McConnell to Pelosi to uh, Nunes. <laughs> Nunez <laughs> and all the rest of them calling yourself Americans and Americans and Americans 
I got news for you. You might be running the government, but you are not American. You are not a white person. You are not an African. You are not any of those labels that you put to yourself. You are not Latin. You are not Hispanic. You are not Indian from any subcontinent or the American continent. And I can say that to you very clearly. You are a fool if you truly believe it. And if you do not believe it and preach it, you are the enemy of the United States of America and its constitution and its symbols. Our flag is protected in the House of Representatives by two facets and by Aguila. And that cannot change. You will never change it. I don't care what you call yourself. I don't care what you condition the population to call themselves. Those facets are there planted on that wall protecting the United States of America. I can say that to you. And to the Pope of the Romans, I want you to know, Mr. Pope, Mr. Roman Pope, Mr. Francisco, you need to take a hold of you, society of Jesus, and make sure that they protect our society, the one that Constantino created, the one that have keep us going until today, the one that highly likely, like uh, John Paul eloquently said, uh, when E.T. gets here, we will show them who Jesus Christ was. So for eternity, protect the Roman Empire, Mr. Pope. Protect the identity of the people of this planet. Otherwise, we'll become zeros. We'll become so disorganized, so disenfranchised, that we will start killing one another again. Like, forever. And we need to change that. We need to, we need to, we need to advance civilization to a level they have never been here before. And that is all I can do, telling you who you really are. Right now you don't believe me. Right now I am the only one. But it will work right. It will come to you. Like Jesus Christ. It took him a, it took him two millennia to understand what the preaching of Jesus Christ was. What the idea of uh, Mr. Uh, Constantino was. That idea of one people, one leader, one religion, one society. Saludos to the people of the United States of America and the nationality of the United States of America, the nationality of the Kingdom of Spain, the nationality of the Europeans, the nationality of the Cubans, the nationalities of the United States of Mexico, all the nations of this continent, the Navajo, the Cherokee, the Omahoma, the Apache, every single one should be represented, should be protected, and should be advanced. Saludos.